Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. There is a heavy downpour. This morning was actually shining brightly. In fact, I even went to water my plants, but suddenly, this afternoon is a heavy rain. Earlier on, there was thunder and lightning. But then now, it's a little bit better, and I'm going to walk in the rain and i'm going to see the flowers but i'm going to read god's word here later on uh, i do not have to worry even if i get wet all over my body <laughs> because this waterproof here anyway and let's go and enjoy the rain hallelujah thank you father for this time and opportunity for me to be able to play in the rain around this area hallelujah i praise you lord and i glorify you oh god you're worthy of glory and honor and praise father this is so good it's so wonderful it's so awesome i am going to play in the rain walking in the rain i'm walking in the rain I'm walking in the rain. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. I praise the Lord and I glorify you, O oh God. Your words will glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, it's so good. It's so wonderful. It's so awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You are such a great comfort. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you are in pain and suffering, Father, you are giving us the joy i'm going to play this pot of water see so nice yay see? okay let's go where are my shoes this is my shoes for for playing on the rain <laughs> but actually it's nice to wear barefoot i think i will just wear barefooted come let's go they're barefooted and let's see the, the plants the uh, flowers hallelujah father thank you i praise the lord and i glorify you oh god you're worthy of glory and honor and praise father this is so good it's so wonderful it's so awesome yes lord you are the first and the last the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega he was the first oh yes he was the last hallelujah he was dead but he came to life, yes, Lord. He was the Alpha and the Omega. Who live and die alive forevermore. He knows how. Yes, Lord, we are alive forever. Hallelujah. He knows our wrecks. Let's be in faithful. He knows our poverty we should endure. He knows our tribulation we should not fear. We should not fear. For he knows servant is greater than his master. If he wasn't here, let him hear. If he wasn't here, let him hear. What the Spirit says to the churches, He who overcomes eternal life, and He who is faithful receives the crown of life. Yes, Father, as we are faithful to your Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify you. Oh, God. Your words will of glory and honor and praise, Father. Thank you. This is so good. It's so wonderful. It's so awesome. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> so nice to see you. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Enjoying this moment, Lord. I'm enjoying this moment. There's something that we can always rejoice with. Thank you, Lord. Thank you also, Lord, that my plants are actually growing very well. See? Hallelujah. 
the leaves are growing well thank you lord and let's go and see the other side of my plant and i want to show you also yes. but thank you lord yes so god yes so wonderful hallelujah father i worship you lord I worship the Lord of glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, God. <laughs> My God is an awesome God. He's an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. My God is an awesome God, is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Oh God, that's so, so good. Hallelujah. Father, thank you also, Lord. Protect us and cover us with your precious blood, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. As we who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God, in Him we will trust. Surely, Lord, You will cover us with Your precious blood, and we will be blessed, O God, because You are the God who always protects, who is always our rescue in times of help. That's what You have said, Lord, in Your Word that you are the God who always come to help us and so God thank you you are my comfort <laughs> hallelujah you are my friend always with me hallelujah you are my best friend Lord thank you and my beloved sister in the Lord actually just left yesterday and I'm a little bit sad because I will miss her and miss her so much and we all see each other every day but then now she is in the philippines so we will just keep in touch again through social media thank you oh hallelujah thank you look at my plants submerged with water but it's okay look the, this is the squash or pumpkin seed it is sprouting i can transplant this next time and uh, the sweet potato are growing very well. Wow, uh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> My plants are growing so well. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on now reading God's word. Hallelujah. And this nice place is actually therapeutic. Walking in the rain and playing on a paddle. I don't know how, how it calls. <laughs> the water that stopped here. <laughs> it's nice it's just oh hallelujah oh we have the sun also coming out now hallelujah thank you God. oh we bless you Lord. come on heart. let's continue on reading God's word in the book of Jeremiah chapter 22 22 or 23 let's say Father, as well as your word, help us to understand. Give us, Lord, spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father, as well as your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. The righteous descendants. Hallelujah. Let's carry on reading. The righteous descendants. What sorrow awaits? the leaders of my people, the shepherds of my sheep, for they have destroyed and scattered the very ones they were expected to care for. Mm. This is in Jeremiah chapter 23. Let's carry on reading verse 2. Says the Lord, therefore, this is what the Lord the God of Israel says to these shepherds, Instead of caring for my flock and leading them to safety, you have deserted them and driven them in destruction. Now I'll pour out judgment on you for the evil you have done to them. 
but I will gather together the remnants of my flock from the countries where I have driven them. I will bring them back to their own sheepfold, and they will be fruitful and increase in number. Then I will appoint responsible shepherds who will care for them, and they will never be afraid again. Not a single one will be loose or missing. I, the Lord, have spoken. Say God is so faithful to his promised words. And then verse 5. For the time is coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. Yeah, that's Jesus. <laughs> that he will rose up from King David's line. And he will be a king who rules with wisdom. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. And this will be his name. The Lord is our righteousness. Wow. Amen. The Lord Jesus is our righteousness. Oh, hallelujah. In that day, Judah will be saved and Israel will live, will live in safety. In that day, says the Lord, when people are taking an oath, they will no longer, um, they will no longer say, as surely as the Lord lives, who rescued the people, who rescued the people of Israel from the land of Egypt. Instead, they will say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the people of Israel back to their own land from the land of the north and from, the, from all the countries to which he had exalted them, he had exiled them. <laughs> then they will live in their, their, in their own land. Wow, just like in Jerusalem now, in Israel. They have now their own country. Wow, thank you, Father. You are so faithful, Lord, to your promised words. Verse 7. In that day, says the Lord, when people are talking on us, they will no longer say, As surely as the Lord lives, who rescued the people of Israel from the land of Egypt. Instead, they will say, As surely as the Lord lives, who brought the people of Israel back to their own land, from the land of the north, and from, the, from all the countries to which we had exiled them, then they will live in their own land. Now, the people now of Israel, the people now from uh, the Israel people from all over the world now is coming back to Israel. Yes, right now at this time, all, all of them. So that is how the Lord so faithful to his promised words to the people of Israel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Come, let's carry on reading. Oh, Jesus, we love you, Lord. You are right. The Lord is righteousness. Wow, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Judgment on false prophets. My heart is broken because of the false prophets and my bones tremble. I st stagger like a drunkard, like someone overcome by, by, by wine because of the holy words the Lord had spoken against them. For the land is full of adultery and it's, it lies under a curse and the land itself is in mourning its wilderness pastures are dried up, for they all do evil and abuse what power they have. Even the priests and prophets are ungodly, wicked men. I have seen the despicable acts right here in my own temple, says the Lord. Therefore, the paths they take will become slippery. They will be they will be chased through the dark, and they will fall. For I will bring disaster upon them at the time fixed for their punishment. I, the Lord, have spoken. I saw that the prophets of Samaria were terribly evil, for they prophesied in the name of Baal and led my people of Israel into sin. But now I see that the prophets of Jerusalem are even worse. They committed adultery and love dishonesty. They encourage those who are doing evil so that no one turns away from their sins. 
to encourage those who are doing evil so that no one turns away from their sins. These prophets are as wicked as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah once, once were. Mm. Wow. Therefore, this is what the Lord of Heaven's army says concerning the prophets. I will feed them with bitterness and give them poison to drink. For it is because of Jerusalem's prophets that the wicked has filled this land. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says to his people. Do not listen to these prophets when they prophesy to you, filling you with futile hopes. They are making up everything they say. They do not speak for, for the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise my word, Don't worry. The Lord says you will have peace. And to those who stubbornly follow their own desires, they say, No harm will come from you, from your way. Have any of these prophets been in Lord's presence to hear what he really saying? Has even one of them cared enough to listen? Look, the Lord's anger burst out like a storm, a well wind that swirls down on the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will be diminished will not diminish until it has finished all he has planned in the days to come. You will understand all this very clearly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they run around claiming to speak for me. I have given them no message, yet they go on prophesying. If they had stood before me and listened to me, they would have spoken my words, and they would have turned my people from their evil ways and deeds. I am a God who is only close at hand, says the Lord. No, I am far away at the same time. Can anyone hide from me in a secret place? Am I not everywhere in all the heavens and earth, says the Lord. I have heard these prophets say, Listen to the dream I had from God last night. And then they proceed to tell lies in my name. How long will this go on? If they are prophets, they are prophets of deceit, inventing everything. They say, by telling these false dreams, they are trying to get my people to forget me, just as their ancestors did by worshipping the idols of Baal. Let these false prophets tell their dreams, but let my true messengers faithfully proclaim my every, wo my every word. This is the difference between straw and grain. Does not my word burn like fire, says the Lord? Is it not like a mighty hammer that smash a rock to pieces? Therefore, says the Lord, I am against those prophets who spell message from each other and claim they are from me. I am against these small tongue prophets who say this prophecy is from the Lord. I am against these false prophets. Their imaginary dream are fra fragrant lies that lead my people into sin. I did not send or appoint them and they have no message at all from my people. I, the Lord, have spoken. Wow. False prophecies and false prophets. Suppose one of the people or one of the prophets oppressed as you. What prophecy has the Lord burned you with now? You, you must reply. You are, the, you are the burden the Lord say he will abandon. If any prophet prays or anyone else says I have prophecy from the Lord, I will punish that person along with his entire family. You would keep asking each other, what is the Lord answer? Or what is the Lord saying? But stop using this phrase, prophecy from the Lord, for people are using it to give authority to their own ideas, turning upside down the words of our God the living God, the lords of armies. This is, what the, this is what you should say to the prophets. What is the Lord's answer? Or what is the Lord saying? But suppose they respond that this is the prophecy from the Lord, then you should say, this is what the Lord says, because you have used this phrase, prophecy from the Lord, even though I want you not to use it. I will forget you completely. I will expel you from my presence. 
along with this city that I have gave you and your ancestors, and I will make you an object of ridicule, and your name will be infamous throughout the ages. Mm -hmm. Because you are not saying the word of the Lord, you are using the name of the Lord in vain. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father God, thank you, Lord, that you are so good, you are so faithful to your promised words, Lord, because your word is true and alive, Father. But you have promised to me, Father, will come to reality in your time, for you makes all things beautiful in your time. Thank you, Father, that you have a wonderful plan for me, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me a hope and a future. Hallelujah. Oh, I praise the Lord and glory for you, O oh God. Your word be of glory and honor and praise, Father. This is so good, yes, so wonderful, yes, so awesome. And for those people whom I am I praying for as well, Father, thank you. You have a good plans for us. Thank you, Lord, as we are the, the as we hold on to God's words to us. In Jesus' mighty name, we believe it and receive it. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Father.